For decades, we've been looking for a signal from alien civilizations. But what if their first message didn't come as a radio transmission, but was instead delivered like a gift? November 2020, the Red Rock Desert of Southern Utah. A helicopter crew and state biologists are counting bighorn sheep when something catches their eye. They land and make this astounding discovery. A large shiny silver object yeah. tucked into an almost inaccessible canyon. Yeah, it's just wild. Look closer. From every angle, it's clear this thing does not belong here. Utah keeps its location secret, but news leaks out on social media, and it's quickly labeled the Utah monolith. U.S. Army vet David Serber takes all the secrecy as a challenge. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna find this place, right? It was probably 11 p.m., and I drove for six hours straight through the night to try to get there. David works his way deep into a canyon. I don't see anyone. Just after daybreak, he rounds a corner. There she is. <laughs> and it's just there. And I was like, oh, God. <laughs> and uh, it was just a really cool experience to have a few minutes alone with it. There are a few things more iconic than a monolith, whether we're talking about the monolith that started 2001, A Space Odyssey, or the obelisks of ancient Egypt. So when this mysterious metal monument popped up, it really sparked people's imagination. The idea being that possibly one of the ways that aliens would contact us would be to leave an information-laden monolith for us to investigate and discover. One focus on the internet was whether the monolith was constructed with alien building materials. The belief was that they are comprised of something called a metamaterial or a metametal. Metamaterials are engineered to have properties not found naturally on Earth. Special composites of metal strands and ceramics are created to absorb radar for stealth technology. And there are reports from reputed UFO crash sites that the craft contain alloys that give them anti-gravity and cloaking characteristics. Accounts of alien metamaterials went mainstream in 2017 with a New York Times article. According to the New York Times report, Bigelow Aerospace was contracted by the government to store possible materials from alien craft. It's believed that the U.S. government is studying these alien materials to create the next generation of weapons. Could the Utah monolith be made of the same sort of alien materials? David tests it. I had a magnet with me, mainly because we were trying to figure out, you know, what type of metal is it? Not sticking. And also, was it a solid object or was it hollow? Not solid. So what's it made of and by whom? Other mysterious monoliths have been discovered recently, often in remote locations, in Romania, the Isle of Wight, and Sweden. Are these objects some sort of alien calling card, or could they be the product of a very creative and very human mind? And when you first see this, you can't help but think of some type of extraterrestrial technology. However, there's nothing about what we're seeing in this video that leads me to believe it's manufactured from any kind of exotic materials. Unlike reports of UFO metamaterials, the monolith doesn't defy gravity, and it's definitely not cloaked. In person, David noticed fingerprint smudges and ragged corners, as well as other signs of terrestrial construction. The telltale signs of those rivets would make me believe this is man-made, no matter how kind of anomalous its appearance is. For McMillan, that's the giveaway, the signs of ordinary earthbound metalwork. If it is human-made, Kathy Strain has an idea why someone went through all the effort to put it in the middle of nowhere. I think it's, it's a message of beauty, of artwork, maybe makes you in, reflect more that I wanted to come here for the wilderness. Some artists, like Donald Judd, believe that wilderness is the ultimate art gallery and use isolated locations for installation sites. But who made this and what it's made from is almost impossible to determine from a video. Ultimately, you're not going to be able to determine exactly what this object is until you get it into a lab and under in-depth analysis. But just as it appeared out of nowhere, the Utah monolith vanished, literally overnight. So until it's found and we can get it into a lab, our verdict, this is not an alien artifact.
It's either a human artwork or a hoax. Either way, it's a compelling conversation piece.